What's up, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to another episode of Antonia's Legacy. It's a raining Friday morning here in Magnolia Promenade. Kind of gloomy if you ask me, but that hasn't stopped Antonia Mendez from going out, of course. Um, so Antonia decided to meet up again with Kennedy this morning um, and just kind of get to know her a little bit more over coffee. So I think we are at the Little Beans Coffee House here um, in Magnolia Promenade and they are just kind of getting to know each other a little bit more. Um, definitely feel like the dinner that they had was kind of rough and do you see this um i think it's because she is a mean sim or not a mean sim but she has the mean trait so sometimes she like does these weird petty jabs at antonia for some reason um but like i said earlier i don't think at all that it's because of antonia um or directly at antonia but what is she getting um she's getting a drink Antonia's always getting a drink for some reason like i don't know why she just gets like a little bit of a snack um so let's order some food we got a cannoli croissant pain <laughs> pain Oh my god, P pain au chocolat. I did take French. I did take French in high school, so like even though I took French for two years, I still can't pronounce that. So that's cool. Okay, for some reason she got a coffee instead of a freaking. I don't even know what I got her. I can't even remember. Oh my gosh, uh, are you serious, Ali? Are you serious? But anyways, let's just stop. Let's stop talking about my crappy French skills. And thank God she's actually sitting at the table next to us. I hate it when like my Sims go to cafes and then they get their like coffee or food and just sit. At completely different spots um but like i said i do want to get to know kennedy a little bit more and kind of figure out um if she will help us maybe um find out who uh, our other relatives are or even um our parents maybe um so i think we would like or antonia would like to um maybe meet her but oh my god okay glitch um oh hello sir oh my god my man's over here is is a little naked okay <laughs> he's a little naked um but anyways go ahead antonia no please no don't sit down there sit over here with kennedy um but i think we want to meet kennedy's parents soon actually because kennedy did tell her parents about this um and they were actually very surprised and they want to meet antonia um pretty bad so i think that's awesome um but hey i heard you became friends with mila boudreau she's pretty cool reagan we've been friends with her since forever bro reagan's just something else okay so the reason why like like a bunch of sims might be walking around naked is because i've actually disabled some of my packs in the game um just to see if i can reduce lag more i wanted to like test it out and see if like certain packs um like make the game lag more if that makes sense but mr naked man is sitting over here next to us and antonia is like smiling through the pain she's like just smile and nod smile and nod but i really hope this stuff with kennedy kind of pulls through and kind of works out because i i really like her despite her being <laughs> having the mean trait i don't know i guess that's just her personality at least that's what i'm hoping so far um but look at this crazy bowling alley that i put in magnolia promenade like i finally got my gallery to work so i can actually put like stuff from the gallery into my world um into the save so i've got a lot of new things for antonia to do um and explore so i'm really happy about that i really do feel like kennedy wants to help um but i feel like the more antonia talks about you know her life um the more she's like gonna kind of talk about her like personal personal life and like her love life and stuff um and she already feels so connected to kennedy because you know they are blood related um so i feel like she kind of wants to reveal her relationship problems to kennedy about tag so if you don't remember last episode she went on a date with tag and no matter how much she tried to kiss him or hug him like he just wouldn't do it um and so she's kind of she's kind of confused as to whether or not she should end things um <laughs> there goes kennedy's uh, kennedy's yelling spiels um but she's wondering if she should end things with tag um like she doesn't want to okay but you know she she just wants to ask <laughs> she's like one of those people where she's never gonna break up with them but like she likes to ask for advice anyway you know but um it looks like oh she has this moodlet um confident things may improve from friends advice antonia told a friend about her relationship issues and said friend recommended trying out couples counseling it's not a bad idea and maybe antonia should ask her partner to try it together maybe there's hope after all okay so the thing about couples counseling is i seriously doubt tag would do that like i feel like tag is very very like prideful um and his pride will just not allow him to do couples counseling and like they've only been together for like three weeks so or not even three weeks like a month now so if it's if it's like this bad a month
month in. Um, I definitely don't think Antonia should even waste her money and her time on couples counseling, you know, but I don't know why she's all the way over here. Let's go back and sit um, with Kennedy. She looks a little lonely and there's like random strangers standing around her. That's pretty much what is going on right now. Um, but if you saw up here, Antonia actually wrote a series um, of poems the other night and she published it and she got 55 bucks from it today, which is awesome. Um, and I actually did renovate her apartment again. I know it's kind of crazy. I think they've had a really great day. It's already 4 p.m. They've been here pretty much, pretty much all day, but oh, wait. Um, okay, so, oh my gosh, okay. Um, so, Mariel is not supposed to be here. Uh, Antonia, you need to wrap this up. Oh my gosh, wait, oh my gosh. Wait, does she see us? How does she not see? Oh my gosh, wait, I'm I'm getting, okay, I'm getting the cold sweats. Hold on, she's ordering. What is she ordering? Oh my gosh. How does she, how has she not seen us so far? Um, okay, you know, you know, it's, okay. Instead of trying to hide, let's go say hi. I mean, it is our sister. So let's go ahead and um, get to know. <laughs> So yeah, I guess she obviously sees us now. So she's like, hey sis, what's up? Um, and she's like, well, why, what are you doing here today, Antonia? Antonia's like, oh, nothing. Just decided to um, get a little bit of coffee today. Um, but here comes, oh my God, here comes Kennedy. And Ken of course, Kennedy's gonna sit down. <laughs> Kennedy's gonna sit down. And um, Marielle's like, oh, is this, is this a friend? I've never met her before. And Kennedy's like, Oh, oh, actually, um, I'm, I'm Antonia's cousin. Who are you? And, and Mariella kind of got up and didn't really say anything. Um, are you okay? Like, and of course, Tag has to freaking text us in the middle of, um, this whole thing. So no, Tag, we're kind of busy right now. Um, but she kind of got up and didn't say anything. So she, I think Antonia's like, hey, are you okay? Why aren't you talking? Um, she didn't mean it like my actual cousin. That's just the thing um that we say you know also side note doesn't mariel look so freaking beautiful today like i love her hair i changed her hair a little bit um but uh mariel is like what does she mean she's your cousin and antonia's like uh that's just a thing we say you know uh but mariel is like no for real like why does she look like you and antonia's like um so I need to tell you something. <laughs> and Marilyn is going to be like, what? What do you need to tell me? So she's going to be like, okay, uh, we need <laughs> we need to uh, go outside. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and remove uh, Kennedy from the group. Uh, we just said bye to her that we have to go and hang out with our sister. Um, today we made plans, but let's go ahead. Let's just go like over here. So they're going to go over here together. And Antonia, she's like, oh crap. I didn't think this through um, because Mariella, Mar <laughs> Mariella likes coffee shops just as much as she does. Um, so she definitely didn't think this through, which I'm going to raise her bladder because we don't have time for um, potty walk, okay? Um, but Antonia is freaking out. Like she's smiling right now, but I think it's just like nervous smiling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe now we're really telling Mariella now. Um, about what's happening so okay so let's go ahead um, ask about her day let's kind of stall a little bit so she's like <laughs> um, how has your day been little sis she's look she's like kicking the ground she's so nervous oh my gosh turn around um, and Mar Marielle's like stop stalling like Antonia who who is this girl like you she said cousin and I know you don't call your friends cousins I mean you know she's friends with Reagan and Mila too and like they never call each other cousins um so she's like you're lying tell actually tell me what's going on um so let's go ahead and see she's stalling she's trying to make her laugh and Marilyn is like stop so she's gonna give her or tell her a deep conversation so she's like look um Mariella I have been doing my research on who my biological family is and i know i haven't told you i know i haven't told mom and dad um and i'm sorry but i met my third cousin my actual real third cousin um okay 
So she's kind of like explaining herself and Mariella already looks, she already looks so upset. Oh my gosh, is she gonna yell at us? Oh my gosh, she's like, how could you? How could you not tell us? And Antonia's like, I didn't want you guys to think that I didn't love you or wanted to be with my other parents instead of you guys. And she's like, that doesn't even matter. Aren't we your biological, like, or not biological, real family? Like, you know, at least tell us that you're going to do this. Like, I'm your sister and you had no idea to tell me and she's like i didn't want to hurt your feelings mar i was gonna tell you anyways mariella is super upset she's like your parents left you in the trash and you're wanting to find out who they are for what like they literally abandoned you mom found you in a trash can you were about to die of hypothermia how could you do this and she's like i just want closure i've i've been wondering about this for all of my life like you know how could you not wonder how could you not want to ask them why oh my god antonia is so mad she's so freaking mad tony is like you know what maria like you don't have the freaking right to tell me this when you were born you were born to mom and dad mom and dad actually conceived you i've been feeling all my life like i don't belong like i've been feeling all my life like my parents don't love me i'm not even biologically related to mom and dad and yes i love them but you you have so much privilege you don't even know and she's like that doesn't matter i didn't choose to be born to them and she's like you know what i don't care i don't care oh my gosh she's enraged oh my gosh please don't die oh she's like you know what bye and go ahead and tell mom and dad i don't even care and she's like you know what i will i freaking will um <sighs> bye bye mariella oh my god are you freaking kidding me bye um just just go just go antonia she is not gonna listen to you at all i can't i cannot believe that mariella would say all that stuff to her own sister but she's like glitching out right now so i'm gonna go ahead and reset her and then she's just gonna go home stop having to pee you're not pregnant sis oh my god she is so angry Oh, just go home. Jesus Christ. You know, I thought Mariella would be a little bit more understanding. Um, Antonia thought she would be a little more nice, but apparently not. So Antonia finally got back home after walking in the freaking rain. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for her. Um, she's completely soaked. Her hair is soaked. Her clothes soaked. Everything is just freaking soaked. Um, but she got home safe. Um, and when she got home, she just felt this compelling like need and desire to call Arthur and ask him if he would come by. And so he did. <laughs> and she has no freaking idea um, or he has no freaking idea how thankful she is that he actually came over. Um, she called him and she was like, I need somebody here. Like, please, please come over. And he was like, of course, of course. Um, so I do want her, he's, he's just so kind, such a kind human being. Um, I do want her to kind of vent to him a little bit. She's like, you know, the situation with my parents, right? And he's like, yeah, of course. And she's like, um, so I told Mari about it and she got mad at me and she pretty much disowned me and she's gonna tell my parents about it even though i did not give her permission to and he's like oh my god i'm so sorry she has no right to do that i'm really i'm really sorry about that um is there anything i can do for you i'm not really sure um what uh, i can do for you you just you just gotta have to you're gonna have to tell me and she's like no i just i just need somebody to be here um i can't be alone or i'll punch a hole through the wall and he's like i get it i totally get it um, but it's 2 a.m. And, and he was asleep, actually, and she woke him up, but he was not mad at all, um, which is just so, it's incredible. He is such an amazing guy. Um, and it really says something about her and Tag, because, like, her first, you know, you would assume that your first instinct when you're upset and need somebody with you would be to call either your best friend or even your current boyfriend, a.k.a. Tag. Um... Now keep in mind, Antonia is not a cheater, okay? She just, it's platonic right now. It's friendship right now. Um, but she wasn't, like her first thought wasn't, I need to call Tag, I need him to be here. It was, I need Arthur here. And <laughs> I just, I something about that man, something about it. And Arthur is like, hey, you know, I know this is nowhere close to what you have been through, um, but my parents, 
uh, they're actually divorced. So, you know, I've had trouble like with, <laughs> with my parents, you know, I'm obviously not adopted, but like, I know where you're coming from in terms of like um, family pains because my parents actually, um, my dad passed away um, a while ago, but my mom actually chose to um, have custody over my sister. I do have a sister. And then my dad chose custody over me. Um, so my mom just did not want me. Like his mom didn't want him at all. So um, his mom really favored his sister, which we will get to meet his sister soon, I promise. Um, but he has definitely been through some family pains as well. So at least Antonia kind of like, kind of can relate to him. Um, definitely not totally because her situation is very, very um, unique in a sense. But I guess she's gonna go grab a slice of pizza angrily. Um, I guess she asked Arthur if he wanted some, but he declined. So, um, oh my gosh, she is mad. But but yeah, that's really interesting, actually. I didn't know that about Arthur, um, about his family situation. So, uh, you know, I'm not... See, the thing is, Tag hasn't even told us about, like, anything about his family. Um, so it's just it's kind of... We don't really know a lot about him. And I'm thinking that, you know, even though Kennedy, like, told us to do couples counseling, I'm really thinking that Antonia is probably going to give it one more chance with Tag. Um, but if something bad happens, like, last, like the last date that she had... Um, I think she's just gonna call it quits and she doesn't want to she, do she doesn't want to go through that pain because she does like tag a lot but it's like um, it's gonna happen it's gonna have to happen eventually but if you didn't notice which I'm sorry I haven't said anything yet I did like I said renovate her apartment I kind of just switched the layout gave her a new room and gave her a ceiling fan too um, so yeah I gave her a dining table too because I felt like she was kind of tired of like sitting at the couch um, or like on the bar stools and she also has laundry which is great and we still have a ton of money to spare um she also did get another promotion at work so now she's an advice columnist um so i think she's getting really prepared actually to kind of write her own book about her story um so we will definitely see what happens with that i'm very excited i, I want to see her like go to a publishing house and like actually get like an editor and stuff like that and actually just kind of flesh out this whole like author um experience so if i had a negative interaction i think antonia is just in a bad mood right now like she's not doing it um intentionally to arthur like <laughs> i promise she would never do that. The only reason she yelled at Mari in the first place was because Mariella just started yelling at her right off the bat. Um, she didn't really take the time to actually listen to Antonia. Um, she just kind of spoke with her heart, like through emotions and didn't really think logically about it, which I, I can relate. You know, I fall prey to that 100%, but it is getting kind of late. Actually, it's 5 a.m. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and just send Arthur home. He needs to go home and he needs to sleep because he probably has work tomorrow. Um, but he's gonna go. He says, this was great, but I think it's time for me to go home. See you later. <laughs> he's so sweet. Um, but I think I'm gonna have her go. Oh my gosh, I don't know why she keeps glitching. It's kind of annoying. But do we have work tomorrow, please? God, no. Okay, no, we don't have work. Well, actually today we do not have work. Um, so I guess we can go and sleep in. She is pissed the frick off. Um, oh, okay, but I will meet up with you guys in the morning after she gets kind of um, a good night's rest. Good morning, you guys, or as um, Antonia would say, buenos dias. Uh, she woke up this morning and she is very, very sad, um, which breaks my heart because uh, Mariella has not spoken to her since last night. Um, neither have her parents. And that's kind of odd because um, they usually talk every day. They pretty much, they have this like family group chat um, that they use all the time and it's just been dead silent for pretty much all of the morning, which is, it's not normal. It's really not because they all say good morning to each other and stuff, especially since Antonia left to move into her own apartment. Um, so I, okay, I highly doubt that her own parents Marco and Crystal would just completely like shut her out because of this because like Mariella said she was going to tell um, their parents whether Antonia liked it or not um, so it probably happened last night and you know I don't I really don't think Mariella is trying to hurt Antonia um, but she is she is a lot um, because you know they are very close she's very close with mariella um or was at least which that breaks my heart um but this is just not normal and so she's gonna kind of wait it out um i don't think she's gonna call her parents right like right now because i feel like 
um, she kind of needs to give it time um, for her parents to kind of, you know, uh, take this information in. Um, and she, she, she's like so angry. She's so sad that she's not able to talk to her parents and tell it from her perspective because Mariella probably already twisted the whole story. Um, probably not intentionally, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think Mariella loves Antonia and she's scared that Antonia is going to get hurt. Um, by her biological parents. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's definitely a real possibility. It could happen. I mean, definitely, especially because of what her parents did to her. Um, I definitely do feel like it's it's a high chance that she will get hurt um, if she finds out these answers that she wants to know so bad. Um, but then again, this is her choice. This is her life. And I'm I'm 100% sure that if Mariella was in the same position, she would do the exact same thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just think, I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening with her, but, um, today is Talk Like a Pirate Day, so I'm not sure what any of this stuff means. Um, so dream of the sea, feel the salty brine, I have no idea. What is, like, what is shower? I, I don't understand pirate talk. Let's just do feel or free the salty brine what is it free the salty brine okay i have no idea what that means um but let's just hope it gets her all cleaned up because she is a little stanky she's a little stinky um but she doesn't have work today but i definitely don't feel like she really wants to go out and do anything crazy um oh my gosh look at her she's oh my gosh i feel so bad kind of relatable though like you ever just cry in the shower <laughs> okay never mind but i guess while she's home she can um do a little bit of laundry nothing too crazy i don't want her to wear herself out um but do you like her little like vanity i made over here like kind of like a vanity it's like a cheap vanity let me put like a chair here and a dresser and a mirror and then i do um i did keep uh, her mom's homemade gifts right here, obviously. And then our posters that we had. Um, and then here's our little new desk. But let's see what she's wanting to really do right now. So she does want to publish another book um, and she wants to watch Civic Public Access. So um, I'm gonna have her do her laundry. I do know that she really wants to see Arthur again today, but I feel like she doesn't wanna be a burden. Um, to Arthur, even though like Arthur would never think that ever. Um, she just feels that way. She feels that way. It, like I think this comes from her being abandoned as a child. Um, so she's just scared of like disappointing people and um, like other people abandoning her just like her parents did. Um, but what's going on down here? I wonder this girl, what is she doing? Is she gonna um, busk? Beg for tips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have never seen that before actually, but who do we have over here? We got a lot of shirtless people. Yep, a lot of bald people. I mean, that's the norm when you take away um, some of your packs, but I did want to look for some snow globes. I think that would really um, maybe cheer her up a little bit, you know? That's one of the reasons why she loves Sam Aishino so much is because of the snow globes. Like, you know, there's always something to find, um, always something to do so we can search for this one too. Um, but I feel like when she moves out of Sam Aishino, which she will, I actually think she's thinking about um, getting a small house now that she's actually kind of established in her job. Um, so we probably will be moving out maybe sometime soon. I'm not really sure. Um, or maybe into like a bigger apartment. Uh, it'll always be her home. And yeah, Windenburg will be too. But it's like, I don't know. This was like her adult, like she spent her adult years here. You know what I'm saying? Like I would miss it too. Um, wherever I spent all my crazy fun years at. Um, but what kind of snow globes did she get? I wonder, um, where do we want to put them? Let's put them on our dresser actually. Or maybe let's put Put one on the fireplace so what is this one okay cool so it's a freezer bunny um and then i actually would love for antonia to collect these um and then just a plum bob so that's cool oh it's actually rare sweet um we did get a pancake poster um just another one to put on our wall so let's put it like right there that works perfectly actually it's like our clothes are done in the washer so let's put them in the dryer um um, but starting tomorrow, actually, it is going to be winter time, which is very, very exciting. The only thing I'm kind of scared about um, is, you know, Winterfest. It's the time to um, gather with family and be happy and be merry. And I'm just very worried that um, that's not going to happen for some reason. I, d I seriously doubt, like I said, that her parents are just going to stop talking to her. But it's like, 
Um, you never know. You know what I mean? Like, you never know somebody's true intentions, somebody's true feelings about something. Um, but let's go ahead. I do want to send tag a text and kind of tell him what's going on, um, that she's just feeling sad and whatnot. Um, and I really wonder what he's going to say, actually. I hope he's really supportive as Arthur. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, Arthur, he's the man. He is the man. I'm telling you, like... So respectful, so kind. Um, but oh, baby girl, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Um, hey Antonia, you sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up. Does that not sound sexual? Like the connotation? You know what? Let's go ahead and go. Let's just do it, okay? Because I do want to kind of test the waters and see if he's actually going to try to and cheer us up, um, or just try to take advantage of our sadness and get down with it. He has been known in the past to kind of like force, not force, but like coerce Antonia into sleeping with him. So it's like, I have no idea what's gonna go around this time. And actually she's never been to his house. So I, I guess we'll see what it looks like. You know, he's unemployed, so I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. So Antonia's standing here like, oh my gosh, where is his house? Like, I, I don't see it, but oh my God, this? This penthouse, this this out this freaking patio, okay, um, this indoor basketball court, all right. This is Tag's home. This is where he lives, and she is freaking shocked. Um, okay, so let's brighten his day even though we're depressed like he should be brightening our day but you know what? i'm not i'm not gonna say anything but look you guys she still has that freaking getting bored moodlet and it looks like tag is bored too so i guess he has the same exact moodlet as us um i'm not really sure but i don't know what his deal is um but this is insane <laughs> and i think antonia is is kind of shocked um and doesn't really know what to say um, because first of all, she doesn't even know what, where he works. So he doesn't know how he has the money to afford this place. Um, but you know what? She's just going to forget it. She's going to forget that, you know, her and Tag aren't really compatible. Um, cause she just wants to have fun. She just wants to not be depressed anymore so desperately. Um, so how about we, uh, take some shots. Actually, I'm going to add him to a group so we can kind of do it together. Um, but I do feel like physical activity would make us feel a little bit better. So we're going to shoot around together um, and see what happens. Also, he has a dog named Chandler. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. I want to steal the dog though because like if Tag is this like weird about us. I don't know how weird he is about the dog. Um, but they're gonna just shoot around a little bit. To be honest, I feel like Antonia um, kind of just wants to be friends. I feel like, honestly, I feel like they would be better as friends. Um, even though I hate his guts as a person, <laughs> um, I feel like they could have a decent friendship if they just forgot about the past and like their relationship and stuff. Um, because I don't know, like seeing them shooting hoops right here, it just, it, it seems friendly to me. It doesn't seem like, uh, like a couple, um, spending some quality time together. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Antonia really wants to pet <laughs> this dog though. Um, I'm not sure if we would ever get a dog actually, or a pet even. Um, I know she, she would like one one day, but n not really right now. Cause you know, we have bills to pay and we need to focus on our career and stuff and kind of get established before we can ever like get an animal. Cause they are a lot of money and they do require a lot of TLC. So we want to make sure that we are ready for that before we actually do that. But Chandler's such a cutie. And you know, as much as some of us might think Tag is a bad person, um, you know, Antonia kind of explained what was going on to him too, and he was really sweet about it. So that's just my whole thing. Like, Tag is very sweet to us, but he's not romantic with us. Um, and that's why I just feel like they would be better off as friends, and they really rushed into the relationship. Um, like, really bad. Like, they met um, at, at Pride Day during the summer. Um, and they just, I mean, they did hit it off really well. Um, but it's just it's not it's just not there romantically and i think she might break it off soon just kind of let him down easy you know what i mean um but honestly i might feel he he might feel the same way he's just kind of too scared to do it too too scared to break in tony's heart 
Um, Because he knows that she's a good girl. He knows that this is her first real relationship. So, you know, he doesn't want to let her down. Um, But, you know, it's going to happen. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But I do think she is feeling kind of lonely tonight. You know, Mariella nor her parents have spoken to her um, today. So I think she is going to kind of ask him if she can sleep over at his house tonight. And I'm sure he will say yes. Honestly, she sees him as a friend at this point. But... She's kind of lonely and kind of desperate for attention at this point because, um, like, like I said, she feels like a burden on Arthur, like, always trying to contact him. Or not always, but, um, just desiring to be near him a lot. So, I think she's kind of, like, substituting that <laughs> with tag. That sounds terrible, but, like, it's true. Um, so I think that we're gonna go to sleep up here. I'm pretty sure this is Tag's room, which holy crap, his apartment is nice. I'm not sure how he pays for this. Like he even has a pool upstairs and a whole like freaking outdoor gym like right here. That's insane. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. I feel so bad for Tony. I just, uh, she's so lonely right now. She misses her family and I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Um, but by the time the next episode rolls around, it will be winter, which I, I really am excited about. Um, I just hope that her family will come around. But look how beautiful his view is. Like, this is so freaking stunning. Um, but yeah, I am going to end the episode here. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to become a mama lemma. I love y'all. Bye.